Arunima Sinha, on top of the world. A disability remains a curse until one decides to change one's mindset. This mantra inspired Arunima Sinha to grab a spot on top of the world. A native of Ambedkar Nagar in Uttar Pradesh, Arunima belongs to a family that enjoys sports. Having lost her father at the age of three, Arunima faced regular travails such as unemployment and insecurities about her future until one fateful night in 2011. It was a train accident that changed her life forever. A national volleyball player, Arunima Sinha was traveling to Delhi from Lucknow when she was thrown out of a running train by some miscreants who tried to steal her chain while she resisted. Falling out of the train, she hit an oncoming train and fell onto the tracks. Spending an entire night on the tracks, with rats gnawing at the gaping wounds in her leg, she called for help, but to no avail. Next morning, some villagers found her and took her to the local hospital, where doctors amputated her leg. Later, she was shifted to Ames, Delhi and underwent multiple surgeries to get back on her feet. An amputation, a prosthetic leg and painful wounds would have broken down many people, but Arunima was made of sterner stuff. With her family standing by her, she decided to grab life by the horns and conquer the most hazardous of mountains, of the unforgiving Mount Everest. Mountaineering in her state would be the greatest challenge to overcome. The first step towards this goal was to meet Bachendri Pal, the first Indian woman to scale Everest. Arunima went to visit the mountaineer soon after she was discharged from hospital. Although Pal was encouraging, she warned Sinha that it would be a formidable task to achieve the trek. She told her, Arunima, in this condition, you made such a huge decision. Know that you have already conquered your inner Everest. Now you need to climb the mountain only to show the world what you are made of. Spurred on by the encouragement from friends and family, Arunima prepared for the longest journey of her life and possibly the most arduous. The trek to the summit has always been the ultimate test of endurance, even for the fittest of people. Arunima's trek was in many ways her litmus test. The amputee started her training even before she was completely healed and worked relentlessly for two long years before making it to Everest Base Camp. She sustained various injuries during the journey, she would need to repeatedly adjust her prosthetic leg, which made it difficult for the mountaineer to continue the trek at the same pace as before. Arunima's challenges didn't end there. Mountaineering is an expensive undertaking. Some say the only thing tougher than climbing a mountain is raising the fund for it. Most ardent mountaineers seek sponsors to fund their climbs simply because they cannot afford them. Arunima faced many rejections while looking for sponsors. Not many companies she approached were willing to pledge their money on an amputee whose wounds had not healed. Meeting the requirement for her trek, close to 60 lakh rupees, was nothing less than an ordeal. Nonetheless, her trek to the base camp changed perceptions and she started receiving sponsorships. Tata Steel Adventure Foundation became one of her main sponsors. She enrolled in the Nehru Institute of Mountaineering and trained in the mountains of Ladakh, Uttarakhand and Nepal before she tackled Everest. Her Sherpa, Nima Kancha, and she trekked to the summit despite various odds. At many points during the ascent, she was faced with hurdles that would have daunted anyone. There were crevices so wide that she had to jump without the help of a rope or a ladder. 
some yawning gaps that would lead to death if she missed so much as a step. She also had to listen to people goading her about a slow pace, while others admired her fortitude. However, Arunima persevered through it all, even crawling at some points during the journey. Sinha recounts the breathtaking scene of ice-tipped peaks piercing the inky sky and how it struck terror in her heart with its sheer magnitude. On the morning of the trek from the final camp to the summit, her Sherpa and Arunima were the first to start. The sight of dead bodies strewn across their path was appalling, but she did not let that deter her. In spite of being the first to leave the camp, their progress was so slow that many climbers overtook them during the day. Nevertheless, they trudged on, until the Sherpa conveyed the disheartening news that Arunima's oxygen supply was critically low and she would have to turn back immediately. Having come so close to achieving her dream, Arunima refused to abandon the trek. Nothing would stop her now, even the morbid possibility of facing death if she ran out of oxygen. Two hours later, they were at the peak. The Sherpa, who was unwilling to climb without oxygen and wanted to try the next day, spurred on by the woman who would not take no for an answer. Upon reaching the summit, Arunima unfurled the Indian flag and used the last reserves of oxygen to click pictures and take videos of herself to commemorate the greatest achievement of her life until then. As I reached the peak, I wanted to scream to all my detractors who thought a woman, an amputee, a middle-class person could never achieve the extraordinary. Yet there I was, on top of the world, said the achiever. The descent, as many would attest, is the toughest part of the trek to Everest. Tired beyond measure, one's body begins to give up, and most mistakes are made during the trip back to the camps. Avalanches, snowdrifts, and hidden crevices only add to the dangers. Many an experienced climber has walked into death traps. But Arunima's good fortune did not run out on her. Fifty steps into the descent, her oxygen ran out, and she lay gasping for breath. Luck favoured her brave heart, as a British climber discarded his extra oxygen cylinder on his way back from the summit. Arunima's Sherpa helped her fix it to her mask to ensure that she had enough oxygen on her descent. After making her country proud, Arunima went on to scale the highest peaks of each continent, called the Seven Summits. Her feats brought her many accolades, the Padma Shri and the Tenzing Norgade National Adventure Award, to name a few. Today, Arunima Sinha is a name that brings joy and pride to every Indian. She has proven time and again that a disability is no reason to put a hold on your dreams. A motivational speaker, she has inspired many people to break free from the shackles of both body and mind and pursue their dreams. She has also set up an eponymous foundation for the empowerment of disabled women and children and plans to set up a sports academy for the underprivileged and physically challenged. When counting her blessings, the accident that caused her to lose a leg and become an amputee figures at the top of her list. In the words of the world's first female amputee to conquer Everest, I would not have climbed Everest had I not met with the accident in 2011. Though I lost my leg, it made me a stronger person.